Hey, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I will show you how to use the screen shade in Smart Notebook 10.0. The screen shade icon is located up at the top toolbar and it looks just like a screen shade. Let me show you a couple examples of why you might want to use a screen shade in your lessons. Here's the first example. What we're going to do is we're going to have a, a number that we're going to see if students can guess based on clues. And we're going to reveal one clue at a time. So I just take my screen shade and I drag it down. I am an odd number. I am a three digit number. The digit in my ones column is greater than seven. The value of the digit in my tens column is 20. The digit in my hundreds column is greater than 6 but less than 8. So give the students a little chance to figure it out based on the clues and you can have the number revealed at the very bottom. So it's great for riddles and clues. It's really a fun, fun tool. Students really enjoy it. Here's another example of why you might want to use screen shade. The scientific method. Um, for any processes that are multiple steps, maybe you want to focus on one step at a time. So you can use the screen shade to just reveal one step and instruct on that step. Make sure kids understand that one. And then you can go to the next step. Now, the screen shade does not have to just go straight down. You actually have several options with the screen shade. I can pull it over to the side. I can do two ways at a time. Notice there's a little dot over here on the left. And when I drag it over, the dot on the right disappears. That means I can't drag it from the right as well at the same time. So I can come over here and drag it this way. I can also drag it from the bottom, but I've got to have it all the way up in order to do that. So I can come down here and drag it from the bottom. Again, I can also do it from the side. So it gives you that two-way support. Now you might be wondering, how do I get the screen shade on my screen? Well, it's very simple. You just come up here to the screen shade icon and click it on. If you want to drag it down to start with, you can have it there. If you want to close it, you have two ways of closing. There's a red X closing it, or you can just click the screen shade icon again and it disappears. I think after using the screen shade, you'll find all sorts of ways that you can use it in your classroom to enhance your lessons. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.